I know you guys are already gonna say, no way you're burned, no way your face is just roasted, and I know guys, look at this, man. Uh, I am gonna say one thing, I'm really bad at putting sunscreen on. I'm gonna tell you guys, you need to start putting on sunscreen. I need to start putting on sunscreen, because the last thing we need is something like this to happen. And we got a really burnt nose right here. I usually wear a hat, but in this particular day, I didn't wear a hat. I know a lot of you guys are already gonna, I know the comments, I already know what's gonna happen. Noah, what's up with Lil Yachty? Why did you take Lil Yachty fishing? How did that start? All I'm gonna say, I'm only, I'm only gonna, you know, spill off a little bit of stuff. We got some cool collabs coming. If you guys think Lil Yachty's the only person, you guys are crazy. We got a bunch coming. You guys already know we're changing the game over here on Kicking Their Best TV. So if you guys haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell and also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. You guys just better stay tuned. All I gotta say is turn the notification bell on so you know when the video drops. Of course I was filming guys. Of course we planned this out. Of course things were going down. I'm gonna leave it at that. I want you guys just stay tuned, get hyped about it. I also got like a little package in the mail that we're gonna be opening on video today since we're just gonna, you know, kinda do an intro in the house. I've been wanting to show you guys this so we're gonna hop right into that. As you guys know, I showed you guys the pop and pickle a couple episodes back. Things looking nasty. So um, I wanna open this package, show you guys what's inside. It's a little secret. Look at that guys. Look at that right here. The Vega by Six Cents. Got a brand new one in the package. Big shout out to my boy Zach for sending me over another one. You know, the first one we got was this one right here that we designed the color on. But this one is looking saucy as well. Look at that thing. I don't even want to get out on the package right now. Maybe we'll do that in the video coming up. But that thing is looking awesome. I just wanted to show you guys that. The Vega right there. It's looking sexy. We're going to catch some big bass on this coming up soon. If you guys are wondering what's going down today on the Kicking Their Bass TV channel, the fish has been a little weird recently. We've had, you know, we're in that weird transition from, you know, the spawn to the summer bite and the bass have just been acting a little weird. I haven't got to go fishing a lot. Like I said, I've had a lot going on recently. But with that being said, I'm gonna have some throwbacks in today's video. I'm excited about it. And this video in particular is something that never got pushed out, so a lot of people didn't see it. But this video is so important. Like, it's so meaningful to me because this was actually the video where I started Big Bass Energy and I kind of explained what Big Bass Energy is about. So I kind of wanted to throw this video back and show it to you guys because one, a lot of people haven't seen it. And two, I want you guys to join the movement with Big Bass Energy and start catching a bunch of big fish every single day. So we're gonna hop right into that. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much for the support. I really wouldn't be here without you guys and I really mean that. So let's hop into this video. We have some bangers coming later this week. We're gonna be filming some awesome content, but for the time being, we're gonna roll this one. We got some big fish in this video and a bunch of great tips and also the explanation a big bass energy boys and girls we are creating a freaking movement today so i want you guys to stay tuned guess what if you guys are new to the freaking channel smash that subscribe button hit the like button but guess what we're starting something new here on kicking their bass tv you know what it's called it's called big bass energy baby you guys are probably saying no what the heck are you talking about bro and i'm saying you know it's big bass energy man people make fun of me all the time and they're like no, well, man, why you get so excited over a little three pounder, four pounder, you know, five pounder, sometimes even an 11 pounder screaming to the top of my lungs. And guys, it's the big bass energy, baby. I get a lot of comments in the comment section below when people are saying, you know, no, uh, you know, I can't catch fish over two pounds. You gotta have the big bass energy, man. If you don't have the big bass energy, man, if you ain't pumped, if you ain't hyped, if you ain't ready to go fishing, then you ain't gonna catch them, man. So we're creating a movement. Hashtag Big Bass Energy down below. This is about to become a thing right now. You guys are watching it. Hashtag Big Bass Energy, okay? The next fishing video you watch, I don't care whose channel it's on, every fishing video you watch for the next five months, man. Hashtag Team KTB TV. Hashtag Big Bass Energy. Let's create a movement, man. Let's get more people out, get more people fishing, get more people catching big bass more importantly and by the way if you guys want to check out some of the merch be sure to click the link down below i can't even, hold on see look at that yeah i got a ton of different designs on the website man we're gonna have some new shirts coming out soon but if you guys want to check it out if you guys want to support team ktb tv it means so much to me man i love seeing people repping the freaking merch man you guys can check it out in the comment section below. If you guys are wondering what we're doing today, we're going to be searching for some double digit bass, man. So you guys love the all on fishing videos and that's what we're doing today. We're gonna to be going out on the lake. We're gonna be trying to catch 
It's a massive, massive, massive fish. And I wanna take you guys along the journey. I'm gonna explain everything I'm doing today. Let's go ahead and cut into it. I'm not gonna talk anymore. All I gotta say, hashtag Big Bass Energy, baby. We made it out to the beautiful area that we're gonna be fishing today. Searching for double digit bass. Episode one here. Chatterbait, big. 11 inch worm we're about to get it started we're gonna start with the chatter bait usually when i come to places i like to start off with the moving bait and if they're not wanting to eat it that's when i switch over to something slower but both of these baits right here are going to be baits that big fish will eat and it will attract the old big ones starting off with the chatter donk got the old six inch trailer on there that i was talking about in the last episode i've been doing very well on for some reason with the black and blue that paired up just works amazingly so all right, let's give it a shot. We're gonna figure out, you know, how these fish are eating today, how we're gonna have to work our bait, because that's probably gonna be the biggest thing today on catching them is figuring out how they want the bait. I can go reel this chatterbait all day, all day. That doesn't mean that they're gonna eat it. I might have to drag it on the bottom. I might have to hop it off the bottom. I might have to give it some really fast rips. So we're gonna experiment a bunch. I'm working this worm through a brush pile right over there on the other side. There's a big shade line. There's a bunch of brush that hangs off the bank. It goes all the way from that bank, probably out here in the middle. And there's a ton of brush over that way. Throwing this huge worm, seeing if we can pick one up. I don't understand why there wouldn't be one in that tree. And I also wouldn't understand why he wouldn't eat a big worm. Ooh, I got him. Oh, he came off. That is so weird how they bite it out of here. Gosh dang it. That was my first bite today. I feel like a decent one too. He just had the tail. I bet you when I bring this in, there's some marks on it. I'm trying to make sure he's not behind it. <gasps> I was about to say I'm not going to reel it in because he might be behind it. And he sure was. He just never had it. He had the tail. Oh my. That was a big one, guys. Freak. Freak, freak, freak. Guys, that was a massive fish right there. I don't know if you guys heard my rod whistle. I'm trying to make sure he's not behind it. Gosh, he ate it twice. Or it might have been a different, it could have been a different one. All I know is we had two really good bites in that cast. I was just about to say, I'm not gonna reel it in because he might be behind it. Right when I said that, he picked it up. Holy cow. That was two very good bites. So we made an adjustment. We tied on a red rattle trap. You guys are probably wondering, Noah, why the heck are you throwing a red rattle trap in the summer? Now let me throw this around on you guys. Let me ask you guys a question. Who is throwing a red rattle trap in the summer? All right, that enough time? Nobody, exactly. So listen, throw stuff that people aren't throwing. Get out of the norm every once in a while. I mean, chatter donk, I mean, what, what's bassing without a chatter, chatter donk, but Every once in a while, you gotta pick up something different and try something new. Try something that people aren't throwing, because then the fish haven't seen it. See what I'm saying? <laughs> look at that! <laughs> look how barely he's hooked. Look at, look at how he is barely hooked. Oh my gosh, we gotta get a weight on this guy. That's an easy five pounder. Oh my gosh. He is barely hooked. Look at that. Like three casts on the red rattle trap. What did I say? Who's throwing it? Who is throwing it, people? That's a five pounder. Look at that. Look how fat. Whew. I'm shaking. All right, zeroed out. Are you kidding me? My weight skills, man. Five pounds, one ounce. <laughs> that dude that's a joker right there that is a joker five pound one ounce first fish today big bass energy baby hashtag big bass energy down in the comment section below that's how we do it here on kicking the bass tv fat five pounder oh that's beautiful freaking tank first fish today called him so he's about a five pounder red trap look at that dude oh gosh it's a tank we can swim back down to the depth into the depths, man. That is why we bass fish every day, guys. Just for moments like that. I picked up the red trap. I told you, I said, why am I throwing it? Nope, that I would like to talk about. So this is the red trap that I'm throwing. It's a one knocker, okay? It's not like a basic trap. 
hear that you hear that one hard knock okay i couldn't get those fish to bite we threw a big worm we threw a chatterbait and they were just barely ticking it i thought we needed something that we need to get them to react to and this thing is exactly what it did okay we got a bunch of rock right here i threw it right on the edge of the rock he picked it up right there right off this like looking like little boat ramp he picked that sucker up man five pounder first fish today let's get it baby smash the like button for that one we might be on to something boys a red trap next to some rock yeah that's a must five pounder yes sir see he barely swiped at it if that was the chatterbait he probably wouldn't even have got hooked see this one has treble hooks you see how he's barely hooked He's barely hooked on that last hook. I actually got one of his scales. Look at this. I got one of his scales on the hook right here. Get that off. But yeah, this just one of the bag trebles was hooked on him. See, they're just swiping. They're not really committing. So you want to get a reaction bite. When the fish are slow, you usually think of throwing a worm. You usually think of throwing something like that that, you know, is very slow and they're going to pick up. But sometimes they don't want to eat it. They really don't want to eat it. You got to get something that pisses them off. I just got slammed sideways that's the thing see how they're not eating it they're slapping at it but you want something to react you want something to go by their face to trick them into biting you want to piss them off okay and this is one of the best little adjustments i could have done today i'm glad i can show you guys because next time you go out on the water if you're having difficulties maybe pick something up that they're going to react on and it'll help you get more bites but that is a good way to start searching for double digit bass right there that's not a double digit we're halfway there that was a five pounder but it was a good one man it was a good one we cannot complain all right another trick i want to show you guys while i'm at it you see how my hooks on my line you can usually just pull it in take it off but let me show you something quick okay hold your bait out this is probably one of the most valuable tips just tap the end of your rod boom see that done that is one of the most valuable things i've learned from fishing right there I mean, that will save you so much time. It is a lifesaver, baby. All right, let's get back in here. Let's catch another one. Come on, right off that point. Yep. Big one. Looks like about a four. Might be bigger. I can't tell. I haven't got a good look at him. Oh, gosh. Come on, baby. Oh, choked it. He actually ate it. I ain't even a four pounder. Look how he choked it. Gosh. It's a two and a half, three pounder. Look at him choke that sucker. That's how you want him to eat it right there. Oh, he ain't quite three, I don't think. God, look how he ate that thing. See, that's crazy. But then again, I, I was changing my retrieve. Look at that beautiful fish. We're going to get a quick wait just to do it. I'm thinking he's two and a half to two and three quarters if i could guess i'd say he's two pounds nine ounces okay that's my guess oh he is two and three quarters on the money two pounds 12 ounces okay awesome man awesome awesome this isn't a double digit almost a three pounder two pounds three uh, two pounds 12 ounces so two and three quarters beautiful bass right there Let's get him back. That's awesome for the second fish today. Man, we got quality, let me tell you. Got a five pounder and almost a three pounder. Get him back. Oh, there he goes. Oh yeah, he was aggressive. Awesome, man. Threw that trap off that point. I kind of called it. I knew there was a fish there. When you see the obvious like that, you always need to take it into consideration, man. I can't I can't address that enough, man. You see a lay down, you see a point, you see a little drop off, whatever it is need to cast at it okay we're gonna beam another one out there i promise you there's another fish off that point he ain't the only one he reacted on it see what i'm saying if we had a worm he might not have ate it he might have pecked at it. if we had that chatter bait he might have just pecked at it if we're hopping out on the bottom this thing was going right past him he had to make a decision in the moment he's either going to eat it or he wasn't and then he actually legit ate it he didn't just swipe at it he engulfed it that was an awesome bite right there like I said, a red trap in the summer. You guys were probably calling me crazy when I tied that sucker on, but guess what? You know, I'm, I adjusted and now we're catching them. Couldn't catch one of the big worm and chatterbait. Put us on a trap, something a little more aggressive, something that's gonna put a bunch of thump, boom. 
So I want to talk about, all right, this is where we walked up on this place. Okay, we just walked up to this pond. We set our rods down. Let's look at it real quick, okay? So this is the whole area that I'm looking at. Let's look at the things that kind of stick out, okay? We have this little boat ramp, has some gravel, pushes off. It's got a fairly steady drop off. It's got some rock on it. This is good. You want to throw at this, okay? You got a pipe. You want to throw at the end of that, sometimes fishing off the end. You got a seawall on that house over there. Pretty shallow, but still, fish will push up on that, especially the push up bait fish. You know, fish will feed up on those walls, especially in the morning time and when the sun's going down. Another pipe over there, that's awesome. Fountain, okay? I know it sounds weird, but like I said, puts off some water. From my experience, it seems like when the fishing's tough, if you fish around some of these places where it has moving water, and I know that's not natural, but I feel like it helps. A point right off there, right off that point, there's some rocks. Laydowns, I see one or two right there. I'm really paying attention to that. Laydowns, I see one or two right there. Concrete pillars, I see some right there. Very shallow, like I said, but still fish can hang around it. Slight shade line. Another big bush. Shade line. Tr fish should hang inside of that. You guys need to look at all these things when you're playing out, okay? And then you start envisioning right here is a small like canal looking thing that goes back in. Now you got to envision that little drop off that's, that's down the middle. You want to fish down the middle of that. I'm not saying don't throw at the banks. I'm not saying don't throw at the seawall. But really focus in on the middle of that. Those fish could be tucked down sitting in that little bowl, okay? Picture it. On each side of the bank, it goes like this and like this. It creates a little bowl at the bottom. It's a little hole that those fish are going to sit in. It's like a little ditch. So I really pay attention to that. Same way without here. Same way with that point. It's going to drop off steadily. You need to pay attention to these little things. All right, we're walking down to a new area right now. We're going to be breaking this down. Let me know if you guys like this style of video where I'm kind of, you know, taking you guys along with the journey, vlogging it, you know, talking about what I'm doing, how I'm catching these fish, and how I'm predicting where they're at and trying to figure them out and adjusting to the day. We got the same baits on, trap and a chatter bait. I'm going to chuck it around the trap for a minute. Or actually, I might start with the... We'll start with the trap, okay? We've had the best luck with that so far. We'll start with the trap, and then we might, you know, go a little bit slower with the chatterbait. Let's go ahead and get it. Trap has been the best to us today. So we're gonna get it. We gonna get it with the old trapper roo. Let's check our line, that's important. Slight fray, okay? Here's a good learning lesson, retie. I'm kind of bad with it sometimes. It only takes a few seconds, it's worth doing. We got a slight fray right out or not. That could be from us, you know, going across some of those rocks. It can be even be from those fish choking it. Um, I really think the last one that we caught, that's probably what that's from. You know, it got it all the way in the back of his gullet, and uh, that can cause it to fray a bit. So always check your lines. You never want to lose a big one. I always talk about this, but if you guys are wondering what knot I tie, it's a uni knot. I have a video on my channel about it. You can go watch it if you're curious. Very, very, very strong knot. Oh, that's not good. I know exactly what I got. All right, I, acci I accidentally hooked the, the line from this. I really don't want to break this off because I think this is my only trap with me. I'm searching my truck after this, but I'm pretty positive it's my only one with me. It might be hard to get off. It's either gonna come off really easy or be hard. Gosh, that sucks. See it right there? It looks like it's a rope. It's not even like a regular cord. I don't know if that's gonna come off. Yeah, I might have to snap this one. Gosh dang it, right when we're getting on them. Oh, wait. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh no. I went way too quick with that. I think we're gonna have to do it. Risk it for the biscuit. Ah, oh, just a little too short. Oh, my rod is literally at the end of it. Why is there not in that? I feel like I'm almost getting leverage on it. That is, that sucks, man. Right when we start catching them on a certain bait, uh, nothing you can do about that though, that's part of fishing. We'll be okay, we'll go back and rig something else, but we'll try out the chatter donkey for a minute. Hey brother, can you do me a favor? Hold up. I broke off my bait right here. Do you see if you can get it? Yeah, here, I'll show you. Oh, holy crap. This is this is legendary. I think I might have to hook the line again. 
Oh my God, you're awesome, dude. Thank you so much. Um, I caught two. Two bass? Yeah, two bass. Uh, one of them was like five pounds. Oh yeah? Yeah. He was a good one. Yeah, they're, they're biting a little weird. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. <laughs> All right, brother. You have a good one. Thank you. Man, see, th th these are the things. Like, this is why I love fishing, man. Especially when you see people like that and you and you meet new people. I got them. Biggin. Oh, my gosh. Oh, he's not even that big. Why does he feel so big? It's like two pounds. He's on some rock. Boom. Yes, two pounder. Not bad, man. I wish I would have caught him in front of that man. Look at that. Barely grabbed that. See how they're eating this chat? Look at that. Wasn't even hooked. Just lifted him up. <laughs> you just saw. That's awesome, man. But what I was saying is, man, that's why I love fishing is talking to new people and getting to meet guys. And like, if you guys ever see me in public, please come up to me and talk to me. I really appreciate you guys' support. I love to talk to you guys. And I know that's not a supporter, but just meeting new people. And man, look at that beautiful two pound bass. All right, buddy. Thank you for biting, man. It wasn't on the trap, 